today uh, our subject is uh, uh, it's uh, about uh, reverse lecture dialysis uh, model uh, it's about how to generate uh, uh, electric power from uh, the deviation between uh, um, uh, salinity gradients or uh, um, salinity gradients between uh, high salinity rates and uh, low salinity rates uh, uh, so we can generate electric power and um, it's uh, uh, it's uh, the opposite of um, normal electrodialysis ion exchange for electrodialysis ion exchange we can uh, provide electric power in order to uh, uh, desalinate or uh, uh, remove salts from uh, uh, saline water but this one is to um, utilize the deviation between salinity uh, flow rates in order to generate electric power first of all you have to uh, open your this is your MATLAB then you have to go to your specified uh, folder working folder okay search for your uh, folder contain your model okay and this is your model and click here in order to sort by name and group by type in order to make it easier for you we have two models first of all we have uh, this is a design model and this is performance model the difference between post model is that in uh, design model we have to assign the power and we, we are going to discover limitations design uh, um, and design aspects and in the other model we are going a performance model we have the design aspects and we need to discover uh, how much power again we can uh, uh, use for um, this is a design model for example okay this is the design model let's um, go briefly inside and see what we have here for design model as you can see we have a, a type selection um, okay uh, total power we have we can assign total power we can double clicking here double clicking here, and you can see here this is input menu so you can utilize your inputs okay you can choose your membrane type uh, is it spacer membrane or profile membrane you can choose what is your total power you would like to generate what per meter or square meter and uh, total mass flow rates flow velocity uh, membrane uh, number of membranes uh, uh, current uh, uh, density cell lens uh, some uh, uh, resistance parameters such as area resistance of anion or, um, or cation uh, electrolytes uh, uh, intermembrane distance C intermembrane uh, distance river or, or fresh water uh, intermembrane distance there is um, uh, uh, some for operating conditions what is your temperature feed temperature uh, residence time through the membranes uh, this is a, a salinity profile this is your uh, sea concentration, a river concentration, or fresh water. Um, sea means saline water, uh, by the way, and river concentration, and conductive thermal conductivity, uh, and feed water uh, conductivity. Uh, we have uh, some specifications for uh, membrane itself. What is your porosity, water viscosity, uh, for the constant universal gas constant. Uh, valence of ions, uh, water viscosity, and so on. So after you specify your limitations and your operating conditions, you are going to discover uh, what is your membrane area, what is your uh, pressure, fl uh, flow pressure, uh, hydraulic diameter of the tubes, uh, open circuit voltage, bumping power, uh, this is uh, net power, um, total resistance through the membranes, um, all types of resistance, and so on. So if you if you click on here, you discover your results, how it comes, as you can see here. So as you can see, based on your uh, specifications, you, you you will find this uh, output value. Okay, and don't forget to uh, go in here and uh, try to uh, select data inspector streaming selected to data inspector okay in order to uh, 
uh, use this with, um, for your as a result or you can go here you can go here and going here reverse select okay as you can select your parameter and description and save final value to workspace in order to uh, uh, find your value uh, stored in work in your uh, workspace uh, for example pressure and uh, hydraulic diameter uh, type uh, power all parameters you can and hit apply and you will find your results outside okay um, let's go for performance model I will uh, try to close this one let's go and uh, I'm sorry running uh, this is our performance model the difference is clear we have here uh, you can select your uh, type membrane type okay and uh, your mass flow rate suppose it's uh, one uh, meter cube per second flow velocity it's up to you number of uh, membranes i will choose uh, for example 100 and current density i, I will give this value I will keep this value. I can. I, I will ch try to change all of this later, with the with respect to time, okay, and temperature, okay. What is your temperature? Uh, residence time, uh, circuit temperature, uh, or river, or saline water and uh, fresh water salinities, and you can uh, control your uh, constants here for the. Uh, um, uh, gas constants, membrane. Uh, 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 specifications, mass factor, and so on. I will keep these, uh, okay, and I can uh, go inside here, okay. Let's go inside, as you can see here. And I already choose to send my uh, outputs to a data inspector, so I prepared everything. And do uh, something like this. You have to uh, click here, click on the, uh, the stream line, and then go here. And stream selected signals to that inspector. Be sure that this is a small square uh, be prepared out uh, uh, in your uh, model. Now uh, we can set our simulation time saving. Set your simulation time into infinity. But before running our model, if you double clicking on this your uh, uh, main block, you will discover the following. This is your function. Okay, and this is your function name, uh, reverse electrodialysis, and we have these are your outputs, area, pressure, uh, bumping power, uh, uh, power, uh, total power, net power, uh, uh, resistance, and so on. And these are your inputs, so many inputs for this model. <laughs> Uh, okay, and this is your code. So it, it, you will find it easy to copy and paste your code. It's up to you. You can copy your code, okay, and use it for your research or your after you download the our models, okay. So you'll find it easy here, and uh, each code has its caption in order to um, remove any mis misunderstanding or misleading with uh, our model, okay. Just saving your model and click run, okay, and let's try to make some changes. Uh, suppose I will go here for mass flow rate. Just one click and use your keyboard cursor for left or right. I'm trying to increase uh, uh, mass flow rate. As you can see, it has a massive effect on your area. Okay, meter cube per second That's, uh, and current density. If you would like, let's change the current density, and you realize there's some changes in the power. Okay no more than uh, 2.9 number of uh, membranes let's go for number of membranes increasing number of membranes i'm trying to increase okay up to uh, 120 and you can uh, this is your um, uh, temperature you can increase your temperature if you would like i'm increasing temperature okay as you can see here increasing temperature will increase uh, the, the game power okay and uh, you can let's try to increase uh, uh, mask factor okay and porosity let's go for porosity if i increased if i increased it i will decrease the power 
if I decrease this, I will decrease the power. It has a massive decrease of power, so you have to uh, choose carefully your uh, results. Let's stop our rank and let's go inside here, saving. Okay, and let's go here for data inspector because we already sent our outputs to data inspector and I would like to discover what is our outputs. Let's go here for uh, this is your membrane area uh, variation uh, along the time. Sure, you can specify your time limits. You can specify your time limits by uh, 24 seconds, 24, one hour. It's up to you. Okay, but I, I just setting this to infinity in order to control and show you how to uh, study the effect of one or two parameters on the process. This is your pressure. Pressure variation, nearly constant, and uh, ohmic resistance. Let's go for resistance. We have three types of resistance, and um, I will choose this one. Yes, we have total resistance. This is your total resistance, varying ohmic resistance. Okay, and okay, and we have the um, di direction resistance, uh, as I think. Okay. Uh, it is quite small, so I, I put it in another figure. Okay, okay, here let's put it here, as you can see here. And um, this is total power in kilowatt. What is your power in kilowatt? As you can see, varying uh, because we we made uh, many changes. Net power in watt per meter square. Okay, and uh, bumping power, and uh, uh, electric motive force or uh, or voltage open circuit voltage if you would like okay as you can see here okay the uh, variation based on your uh, selection of input data okay and you can send this to the figure if you click here send to a figure that sends our outputs to a figure and uh, okay now we finished i finished okay i will close this one or not to take uh, much time so you can click on this is figure properties so you can control your figures control your lines um, in order to draw out uh, your ideas or your uh, um, uh, results uh, I can remove okay so you can control your uh, outputs from here and you can set your um, capture you can uh, 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 and, and, and you, and paste, you can do many, many, many things you, you'd like to do. Uh, this is our um, main block, so you can double click and you can use this code if you'd like. You can reform, you can add here, you can add here more, uh, more inputs, and you can add here more outputs just by adding a column here, something like this, between outputs or inputs. So, and you can go uh, through your model. Uh, and you can com reconfigure uh, many apps. Uh, suppose you need to change your limitation, just uh, click here, right click on your uh, mother block and going to the mask and edit mask or control M. Edit mask or uh, control M and you will find here um, uh, uh, parameters. So let's emphasize. Okay, okay. this is your parameters. Suppose you, this is your mask fluid. You would like to control the limitation. Suppose my limitation is from 0 0.001, uh, for example, up to 100. So this is minimum and maximum because this is a slider. And you can change uh, what you would like to change. And the same for this is edit block. As you can see, this edit block takes just one value. You can uh, reconfigure it into a slider or whatever you would like. Okay. So uh, finally, I would like to uh, thank you very much for your interest in our model. Don't forget to like, share, and uh, subscribe. Uh, thank you very much.